Hi folks, this is Beach Mario with a new video about how we can deal with uh, custom plugins, how we can install pl custom plugins on Node.js. Yeah? In the last video I already showed you an overview about the four different methods and now we will start with the first one, um, how can plugins be found using the uh, operating system environment variables. Yeah? This depends a little bit on uh, the operating system that you use. I'm using Windows here, so that's why it will be a description about Windows. Um, first of all, we need a little info about the plugin folder structure and then how the environment variables can be used. So that uh, plugins are recognized as plugins, um, there is a, a basic structure. Yeah? It has to be, well, it has to have a plugin name. Then there are some elements, then there is a tiddler and a plugin info file. Huh? So this is the general structure of a plugin. And then there is somewhere a uh, directory um, which um, contains several plugins from maybe different uh, third party plugin authors. Uh, for this video, I will use my own library, yeah, which is uh, wikilabs git.github.io. Uh, reload. And um, for the plugins directly to install the plugins to a directory structure, we need access uh, to that directory structure. So I go to GitHub, and then there are two possibilities either go to the repository or the uh, releases. Let's have a look at it. So there is the repository, and there is the structure, Wikilabs, and then it contains all my plugins which have. The information that I discussed, so there is some styles, some tiddler, and the plugin info which Tilwiki needs uh, to work with the plugins. Okay, how can we download this? We can go to the release page and download a zip file. Okay, I download it. And the other one is the Relink plugin, uh, which is from Flibbles. Um, and also here we need the possibility to download it, so I go to the GitHub page and there is a releases page, there are some tags and download the latest one into a zip. Okay, now we have it. Ah, I did already download this one, so I have two of them. Okay, now I can, we can work with them. Let's say copy and copy them to uh, a new structure uh, in my main folder. So I used uh, my new wiki, but now we need a little bit, uh, uh, let's say, more structure. So I will create a new folder, uh, which is called, the first one is called git. Uh, and then we have, let's say, new folder, uh, Libra, libraries, and we will copy those two zips. Yeah. So open this one. There is the Relink library, and there is the plugins. Yeah. So plugins three three elements. So we use this plugin folder and extract it to the libraries. Then we use my plugins. They are called Wikilabs to the libraries. Okay. So then let's have a closer look in the directory structure how it looks like. Users, Mario. Oops, where is it? It libraries. Plugins. So there are plugins which is called Relink and uh, Relink Markdown, Relink Titles. There are Wikilabs, and these are all the names. Yeah? So now we have uh, a structure, and as you can see, um, Flibbles did name them plugins. Yeah? So if I create a, um, uh, environment variables to this plugins folder, uh, I can only name them. Relink and Markdown Relink. Yeah, I will show it to you. And if I link um, 
to the libraries, if I link an environment variable to libraries, I can use my own uh, um, plugins with Wikilabs and the plugin name. Yeah? So let's have a closer look. Yeah? So I'm going to uh, environment variables. There is, oops, where is it? Yeah. Uh, there is this system dialog which allows you to define environment variables for uh, Windows. Yeah? Then we open it and then there is the path. Yeah? But we need a new variable. How is it called? Okay, let's have a look. It's called TeleWiki plugin path. Then there is TeleWiki theme path, language path, and so on. So we need a new variable. Copy it and add a new variable which is called TeleWiki plugin path. And then we have a new value. So for my plugins, I use libraries, control C and V. Okay, so there you see plugin path. Then if I open it again, uh, I can say. How is it? This I think it's a semicolon, um, and then we need the plugins from uh, Flibbles, so they are in the plugins directory. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, now we can edit in in this way. So um, it's important the plugin path. A variable can contain several different plugins uh, or directories as, as I did here. Yeah? So there is the libraries and the plugins. Yeah? Um, okay, okay, okay. Now let's have a look if we can find them. Yeah? So let's open the editor, say file, open folder. Uh, my wikis, my new wiki folder, select it. Let's have a look if we find, for example, the wiki labs um, bundler. Save it. Reload the server. And let's have a look. Reload. The file, plugins, and it's not there. Ah, I need to restart. So reload. And here it is. Yeah, I needed to reload um, this uh, terminal because the environment variables from the terminal are only uh, activated if the terminal uh, is started. Yeah. Okay. So now, as you can see, the bundler plugin now is uh, part of this of this uh, wiki um, because I did include it here. Yeah. If I include uh, relink plugin. Yeah? It should also work because it, there is a direct link to the plugins uh, uh, directory. Yeah? Reload the server again. Reload. And now the relink plugin is also part, part of the equation. But as you can see it, uh, this relink has no uh, contributor author name now. Yeah? So that's why the best way to deal with this would be that instead of directly linking to the plugins uh, subdirectory, I rename this one to Flibbles and only use one directory. Yeah? So go back to the environment variables. Open them. The plugin path. I only need this one now. And delete. Okay. 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 Then 
restart the terminal again and restart what should happen now it should not find it because now this name is missing so let's have a look let's reload have a look to the plugins panel it is missing but what's possible now because i gave it a different name is the possibility to say flibbles relink plugin save and reload and reload the server or little reload the tiliwiki okay plugins and now you see the relink plugin is there and that's it with the help of variables with system variables yeah? as you can see here it says um, environment variables in node.js can be used to find the different plugins in reality the, those plugins can be everywhere as you have seen so i did link to the plugin subdirectory or the library subdirectory yeah? so this plugin path can point to different directories and uh, the startup of the server will search all those paths um, if it finds plugins they match the structure yeah? in this case now i call it libraries or anything yeah then there is Flibbles, which is the author. Then there is Relink, Relink Markdown, Relink Titles. Yeah? And these are the, the plugins. And the plugins have to have a structure, some JS code, some tiddlers, and the plugin info file, uh, which defines the information. And now I have two authors. So I have my own with Wikilabs. Yeah? They work the same way. There is the bundler. The bundler plugin has only some tiddlers and a plugin info file. Yeah. and that's basically it the important part is that we have to match this structure yeah, and we have to point to this directory yeah. and to make it a little bit more convenient I did create a git and libraries or something like this or third party libraries or plugins or whatever you want then it makes sense that there is the outer name yeah and then here are the plugins yeah. so that's important so there is a little bit uh, of uh, reconfiguration needed yeah um, but i think it makes sense in that way yeah so we have to match the structure we are using the uh, variable names uh, with the system variables the important part is that uh, the terminal only knows the new system variables, environment variables, uh, if we restart the whole thing. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, how we can find uh, or how we can use Node.js configuration with the environment variable. And there you can find all the uh, plugins that you want to install. Uh, and this is only one place. Yeah. Um, now the libraries, yeah, and here you can manage your uh, plugins if you if you can download them. Uh, this is an advantage if you are a developer. Yeah, then we could directly use Git to Git pull the information from the rep repository. Uh, but I use the zip files here. Yeah? Uh, the important part is that we have to match this structure. Yeah, that's basically it. In the next video, we will have a closer look at option two, where we then copy the different plugins into the wiki itself. Yeah? And yeah, um, if you like those videos, um, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It would make a difference to me. Um, see you.